What's up guys, Sean here from Briar Home Buyers, and today we're gonna to go over the new tax change and how it affects homeowners. So, uh, the standard deduction has doubled for homeowners, and that means that you have less capabilities of taking itemized deductions on your tax return. And the list of itemized deductions that I have are mortgage interest. Uh, before 2017, the end of December, you were able to take up uh, to a million dollars on a home on mortgage interest deductions. So you could buy a million dollar home and take interest deductions on that entire million dollars. Now it's capped at 750,000. So you can only buy a seven, well you can buy any price home you want, but the mortgage deduction will only go up to $750,000. And beyond that, you get no deductions on your mortgage interest. Uh, you are grandfathered in to the old tax laws uh, if you have a home that's valued at a million dollars and you purchase it before December 15th of 2017, you are still able to take up to a million dollars and uh, deductions on that for mortgage interest. Uh, the other one that we have is property tax. Uh, now, I don't know what the old property tax limit was or the cap. Now we're capped at deductions going up to $10,000. So what that means is it's not really gonna affect anybody in the average states or the Midwest. Uh, who it really affects is people in California, New York, and New Jersey. Those people with really high property taxes, uh, they're not going to be able to deduct those property taxes above $10,000. Uh, the home equity uh, loan deduction. So before you were able to take out a home equity loan, and use that loan to purchase, make large purchases, whether that's a rehab on your house, a car, a college payment, uh, and you're able to deduct the entirety of that loan, and now you're not able to deduct anything from that loan. Uh, the capital gains that they had, this is not a standard itemized deduction, the capital gains law, they were considering changing that, and the capital gains law was not changed, but the law states that uh, if you are a single person, you're able to deduct $250,000 of capital gains. And if you're married, you're able to deduct $500,000 jointly. And what that means for you is if you buy a property that's worth $250,000 when you're single and you sell it for $500,000, uh, not counting any of the commissions and stuff that you're going to take when you sell that, you're able to uh, take that $250,000 gain tax-free and that's how the tax laws have changed to affect homeowners and I hope that helps you out if you need help with your property see what your options are uh, follow the link below and we'll be happy to help thanks guys